So this thing's been playing on my mind today, right? 360 million years ago, we had a period known as the Carboniferous. Basically meaning carbon bearing, notably because that's where all our coal that we use today comes from. Now, that's not to say that coal didn't come from later periods, such as the, you know, the Permian, the Triassic, the Jurassic, but nearly all the coal we have burnt and will burn came from the Carboniferous. And the reason why it happened is pretty bizarre. Firstly, we had these trees known as lecopsids, right? They were these long, tall plants with really thick, like, bark-like tissue, and they had really shallow, like, widespread roots, and they grew to, like, 30 or 50 meters. Now, these weren't trees by any modern definition. They were vascular, so they had internal systems that allowed them to move fluids, but they were plants. In fact, they actually are more closely related to, like, club mosses and stuff. But you might be thinking, well, why is it that period that makes it so special? Well, you see, during that time period, Pangaea was slowly coming together, and as a consequence, the plates were colliding into each other, and the collisions of plates is known as orogenesis, creating these mountain belts, and interestingly, when mountains were formed in one part, they created depressions in another part. Now, these depressions got so low that they went below sea level, becoming bogs. And more importantly, so much of the land became bog, especially on the equatorial regions, that this warm, humid sort of environment started to come to be, which made these plants grow like crazy. Adding to that, carbon dioxide were through the roof and oxygen levels were through the roof. So during the early part of the Carboniferous, these trees and forest swamps, if you want to call them that, tree and forest swamps, spread across the land. And because of what they were made of, that thick bark-like tissue, when they died and they fell into these swamps, they didn't decompose very well because these swamps were waterlogged and they were anoxic, meaning they had less oxygen. Now, this happened for at least 15 million years. That's an insane amount of time. It explains why we have such massive coal seams from then. And because these plants couldn't decay, they essentially formed peat. And over time, they got buried and formed coal. It wasn't until the Permian, so the next period, where it started to get a bit harder for coal to form. Pangaea had basically formed and it was emergent, which meant the continents rose upwards and those depressions were no longer as, let's say, depressive across the land. This got rid of the swamps, that therefore got rid of all of the bogs and all of the peat making, etc, etc. And you can sort of see where we're going with this. 